Hey everybody, I think for today's video, we're just going to do a little driving and talking, talk about some stuff on YouTube, some stuff about this car, uh, my experience with this car so far, and just do a little uh, POV drive because I've had a couple people uh, request that, that they do just some driving and talking with the POV view out the window, so that's what we're going to do today. So here in just a minute, I will uh, turn this camera around, face it the other way, so you guys can. Uh, we'll go for a drive. There's a road down the way here that goes to another little town down in Kansas called Weber, Kansas, and we're going to go down there. Uh, the road is really bad and very bumpy. It's a little bit windy, which is kind of nice. There's not a lot of windy roads around here, so. Uh, uh, but it is potholes and uh, train tracks, and it's just generally in bad condition. Uh, it needs to be fixed, and never has been uh, since I've been here anyway. And. Uh, do that you guys can see the crappy road now the camera may bounce a little bit and you probably hear a little bit of a clicking sound sometimes when it hits a hard bump because uh, my camera here is making a weird sound from the inside somewhere where it hits a real hard bump so anyway let's get on that uh, thanks for being here guys joey 66 let's just talk about a few things and uh, let's get to this guys Alright, here we are. We are leaving Superior, Nebraska, heading towards Weber, Kansas. It's just a short drive down this little highway here, or road. I'm not sure what you should call this, but uh, it's a very bad road, and uh, as you'll see, you'll see the camera bouncing, and you'll probably be able to see the road and the condition that it's in. This right here isn't too bad. Actually, this is really nice, but um, anyway, I just thought we'd drive and talk. I did have a couple of requests lately for people that wanted to see just uh, some POV stuff, just the car driving out the front window, so I thought I'd just talk during that uh, rather than just put it to music. I probably have some music during this, too, at, at certain points because I don't know if I can uh, talk the entire time, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. Uh, you guys know I uh, like to talk, so that's why I have a YouTube channel. Um, speaking of YouTube channels... Um, a lot of stuff going on, you know, the controversy and all that. We will skip over that uh, stuff. Uh, we don't need to make every video about that, obviously. So, uh, but there's another, you know, um, some other stuff kind of going on where you got a person um, who's, you know, saying that they have some inside information on Mopar and FCA and Dodge and coming out with like a lot of news stories and stuff. And um, I like his channel. I do. I believe that uh, Driveway Demons is the name. I hope I have that right. I hate to mess that up. I think it's Driveway Demons. And uh, pretty sure, uh, you know, he's talked about that new Charger, the Angel, and all that stuff. He, I think yesterday or the day before that video they made, and uh, he talked about the Elephant engine coming back in a production vehicle, possibly Barracuda, things like that. And I think I talked about this the other day where I don't believe any of that is actually happening. But I also am not going to say that it's not because he, if he has inside information, something that the rest of us don't, then uh, you know. That would be great. I hope he's. I hope he's right because uh, that's all really exciting news. But um, um, he was talking about the Angel uh, Charger uh, and all that stuff, and that it would be an eight-second car and all that. And like uh, as Kevin Van Voorhis said, I, I think it was yesterday in his video that uh, man, eight seconds is like that's really, really, really hard to reach. That's really uh, a very, very difficult goal to reach. And he just, he, I think he feels the same kind of way I do that. Uh, that would be great, but it just uh, just don't see it happening. And uh, that car would, of course, have to come with a roll cage and everything. You can't put out a car that fast and just put it in a normal car with the normal normal safety features. You'd have to have harnesses and roll cage and everything to even put that car out. So, yeah, I don't know. Would Dodge even? Uh, that's something they would consider doing. And, and can they get? Like you said, is the engine probably isn't the isn't the hard part. It's the it's the drivetrain and the transmission and all that. That's the getting it strong enough to hold up to that kind of power. Um, you know, so yeah, I agree. I don't want to just rehash everything Kevin Van Voorhis said. I won't do that, but uh, I hope Driveway Demons is right. I mean, I think it'd be awesome. I just personally don't see it happening, and if it's if I'm wrong, I will come back and say I was wrong, just like everyone else has been saying. But uh, I do like his videos, interesting stuff, and uh, he's right. You know, very well done videos. So uh, I still watch his channel, and uh, it's pretty interesting stuff. I really like it. So uh, Driveway Demons, uh, I hope you're right, but uh, I just don't see it. But anyway. Uh, what else is going on in the YouTube world? Um, not a whole lot, at least nothing too crazy this week. I think that's probably a good thing. Although, uh, 
for uh, people like me who are trying to get views and trying to get subscribers, it's maybe a bad thing because it gives us something to talk about that gets views because uh, if something bad happens or there's some controversy or people are getting arrested or uh, people's viewers are mad at them, you know, some of us, we can make a little quick video about that and uh, touch on that subject because that's what we do anyway. Uh, even though we get criticized for it, that's part of what my channel is. But anyway, if I make a channel about, if I make a uh, video about something negative happening, I usually get a lot of views. I get uh, on the whole Paul family cruise and arrest. I got like I think it's up to like ninety thousand views now, or eighty something thousand. I don't even have checked in a while. And then the uh, some of the stuff surrounding uh, Tall Guy and the uh, you know I'm not going to talk to anybody who doesn't join my club thing and all that. I'm going to go around this little truck. He's going about way too slow. I don't know what's up there. As you can see, this road's wonderful. But uh, the Tall Guy Car Reviews videos, I think I, I haven't looked at that either. I think I had 12,000 or something last time I looked, which is pretty good for me. For a lot of guys, that would be a terrible video. But for me, that's a pretty good video. So, um, Not that I want controversy and drama, uh, you know, because that's all negative stuff. But the fact of the matter is the negative stuff is what gets the views um, for the most part. Unless you're a really huge YouTuber, somebody like uh, Mike's from Street Speed or Tall Guy Car Reviews, Corey or whatever, um, those guys... No matter what video they put out, they're going to get a lot of views. Now, to them, it may not be a lot of views, but they could just basically put out anything. I mean, they could put out a video of, uh, you know, one of my lug nuts was loose, and they make a video about it. And since they have, you know, half a million subscribers or 800,000 subscribers or whatever it may be, uh, they're going to get a crap ton of views off of that no matter what they put out. There's a lot of people, uh, a good section of their subscribers are going to watch anything that they put out. So... Um, you know, they're making good money whether they have something super exciting going on or whether they just make kind of a general little interesting video about something that happened to them that day. Whereas opposed to someone like me who has, um, I, what is it, 2,700 or whatever or subscribers, uh, if I don't make an exciting video with a title that jumps out there and it's something controversial, uh, my videos kind of get overlooked. And I'm not complaining. I like making the videos. So, um, you know, I put, uh, I made a video yesterday that I put, oh, I think it was 12 hours from the time I started it to the time I finished it and I wasn't working straight through a lot of that was the video processing through the uh, uh, all that stuff and everything too but um you know I put a lot of work in that video and it got very few views so far hopefully it'll do better uh, I put it on real late at night it took me half the night to get it done so uh, as I said it took me forever to finish it but anyway I mean, I'm not complaining about that it's kind of what I expected I figured it wasn't going to get a lot of views because it was just kind of a positive little video about a uh, new product that I was somebody uh, sent to me and I put it on my car and uh, those kind of videos don't always do really good. Uh, hopefully it does good so the company can hopefully gain some sales from that and that'd be wonderful. But, uh, you know, I like making the video and uh, I like making all my videos, whether it's one that gets 80 or 90,000 views or it's one that gets 300 views. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I remember there was a time when I was making videos and if they got 300 views, I would be super happy about that. So I try to keep that in mind and uh, thankful for everyone out there. Thankful for all you guys. Uh, watching this and watching any of my videos or watching anybody's videos for that matter we all we need you guys to support the, you know our channels and other channels to support each other if one of you guys out there and if you guys have a have a YouTube channel feel free to put it down in my uh, comments area down there put a link to your channel you're always welcome to do that in my videos I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna gonna try to stop someone from uh, promoting themselves on my channel that's perfectly fine that's what this is all about it's one big community and uh, feel free to put the link to your uh, channel down there or a link to one of your videos or or uh, talk about your channel or whatever it is down below. Uh, you know, that's, 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 I think that's cool. I think, every, you know, when, these, when we all support each other, that's really the best thing. And, and uh, I know there's a lot of my viewers who would like to see some of the, they would enjoy some of the channels that I watch that they might not know about. So I try to, I try to promote those channels on here as much as I can too. And, uh, Hopefully people do that for me too, and uh, yeah, that's great. If you get your name mentioned on a bigger channel, whether it's or a smaller channel, it doesn't matter. Whether you know you're going to get some of those people are going to go, oh, let me go check that. Let me go check that person's videos out. So um, let's all keep doing that, guys. Let's mention each other, and uh, if you have a channel or whatever, if you, even if you just uh, you know have a channel you think is cool and you don't have a channel, mention put it down in the comments if you think someone else's channel is cool that maybe I don't know about or my viewers uh, don't know about. So here we are coming into Weber, Kansas. That was a quick little drive, quicker than I thought. Boy, a huge hole in the road. A giant painted circle around it. I guess that means they're going to fix it. I don't know. But here we are coming into Weber, Kansas. As you can see, that road was really, really rough. Uh, not, not much fun there. It's bumpy, and it's got potholes, and it's just... I, I couldn't tell you what the last time anybody's done any work on that road. 
don't believe anything since I've lived here, and I've lived here quite a while now, so. This is a nice little, cute little town here. I guess cute, I don't know, whatever. Did I just say the word cute in my videos? Anyway, it's a nice little town. Uh, there's really nothing down here, but there's a lot of towns like this around here. A lot of these little towns are just kind of dying out. The town I live in is kind of that way. We only have 1,800 people, and it used to be a much bigger uh, town than it is now. Uh, some of the businesses closed up and moved away, some of the big employers there, so uh, it's shrunk a lot. And these little towns, you know, you get the farther you get from the interstates, the, the less uh, thriving these little towns become. So it's a lot of older people and uh, a lot of... Uh, just, I don't know, you know, a lot of the kids and stuff, once they get out of school, they get the heck out of here. And you can't say that I blame them, so. A lot of these little towns, there's not a whole lot here for them, so. Can't blame them for that, but it's kind of a sad thing to watch them kind of shrivel up and die. I don't know about, um, you guys, when you go out, if you're going on a road trip, you know, I highly recommend getting off the interstate and taking some of the back roads. It may take you a little longer, but you're going to see some cool stuff. And you're going to see, like, old gas stations that were... I don't know, this stuff's fascinating me. I don't know if it is to you guys, but like old filling stations and stuff that have closed down, but you sit there and you look at it and you think, man, that was probably a really thriving business for somebody. That probably supported a family or more than, you know, more than one family or generations. Then the interstates come through and it kind of wipes out that stuff, you know? And because, uh, you know, there's no really reason to go through there anymore. So, and little restaurants and stuff, and a lot of them are, you know, you can see that they were, that they were probably a thriving business houses that are like wow that was a nice house you can tell but it's falling apart now nobody's living in it it's just sitting there so uh like this little business up here to the right i don't know if you can see that or not uh, it looks like it was probably a gas station a little garage door on the side probably a little garage over there for car worked on tires and things like that um you know that was probably a thriving business probably supported a couple few generations of a family who knows uh, all gone now though so uh there's very few places i always want to go down to route 66 and travel as much of that as I can. I watch a lot of videos and stuff about that. And it looks really interesting and I'd like to see it. I'm a real sucker for those roadside, techie roadside attractions too. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, my girlfriend just thinks I'm crazy, but like there's some tacky, stupid roadside, you know, stupid, the birthplace of some obscure actor or something. I was like, oh, that's cool. I want to see it. Or the world's largest ball of twine or whatever, you know. I know down in uh, Southern Kansas, there's the, uh, the, uh, world's largest hand dug well or deepest hand dug well i don't even know but anyway i just those signs just always fascinate me it kind of makes me laugh but it kind of makes me want to stop too so we're heading back towards superior nebraska now on that same road and we're bouncing around the road's very dirty i just got the car totally cleaned up yesterday i washed it then i brought it home and I did the whole uh, Meguiar's uh, waterless wash wax on it, wiped every square inch of the car down. I did the uh, wheels with the Meguiar's waterless wash and wax and got everything looking good, got the tires dressed, got it looking pretty good. Took a few pictures yesterday when I put in yesterday's video. I'll probably throw a few of them up over here too, I don't know. Um, and now I'm driving on this just short of a dirt road. There's so much dirt on the road, it might as well be a dirt road. Here, let's get ready for the train tracks. Actually, they did fix this. This used to be like really bad, but it's not too bad now. As you can see, they fixed it. You can probably see that repair they did right there. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not, but that used to be like you had to slow way down or it was going to knock your car apart. Lots of potholes though. This was really bad. I mean, this is, it's hard to believe that this is even left in this condition. There's got to be a way to, I don't know. I know money's tight and taxes and, and, and uh, funds for, for stuff right now is tight, but uh, wow, this is crazy. So what would you guys like to see on the channel? Uh, you know, let me know. Um, I know what I'd like to see. I'd like to see a Hellcat instead of a Scat Pack, but uh, that's, I don't know. We'll see what we can do about that. Um, that's part of that. It's going to be uh, getting Kim on board with that for one thing. And uh, she's kind of looking at a new Prius, believe it or not. Uh, she's wanting a new Prius. Hers has been paid off for quite a while, and she, she really loves that little Prius of hers. Uh, and uh, man, i got to say, it's not a bad little car. It's much nicer than I thought it would be, so... Uh, I've said that before. It's not bad. Once you drive one and drive around it a little bit, it's like, okay, I kind of get it. It's not bad. But uh, definitely prefer this. And I definitely prefer a Hellcat. I'd like to trade this in and uh, work on a Hellcat. But, uh, you know, it's two people. Two people that are in this together, so I can't just unilaterally do that on my own. So, uh, I don't know. Give me some ideas, guys. How can I talk her into it? Uh, but she does deserve the Prius. She's a awesome woman and done, she's done a lot of stuff for me and uh, supports me in everything I do so 
if she wants to do the Prius thing, uh, we can we can do that. So not a problem. Priuses are like mopeds; they're fun to drive around in, and you just don't want anybody to see you on them. So. I'm not sure what the speed limit is here. I probably that's probably something that would be good to know. Got my uh, radar detector in gear here. Um, it was on city though. But anyway, I left that plugged in. So if it goes off by some chance, it may annoy us all to death. But uh, we're headed back towards Superior. Yeah, look at all those potholes with the paint around them. I guess they're going to fix those. I suppose that's what that means. Or are they just warning you? So just touching on uh, this car, and we know we've had it for, let's see, September, October, November, December, uh, about uh, going on um, 16 months, I guess, about. So um, still in love with the car, still love it. Of course, you know, I don't want a Hellcat. I just said that, but it doesn't mean I don't love this car. So um, I'm the kind of person that's always wanting the next level up and wanting to, wanting to do a little bit better, whether it's with my channel or with the car or whatever it is. Um, Pretty happy with the house, but uh, other than the garage, we only have a one-car garage, so um, that's the only complaint I have about the house. I wish I could do something about that, but uh, even if I were to, I, I just don't think it's feasible to even do another garage there. It's just not room, so. Um, but yeah, I always like to kind of strive for more and try to get the next best thing, and of course, the Hellcat is my dream car, and um, definitely want one, and I'm definitely gonna get one some way, somehow. So you guys just keep watching my damn videos, and. Uh, watch those commercials and get all your friends and relatives and your grandma and your grandpa and your cousin and your uncle and everybody to watch and maybe i'll have one <laughs> uh, i'll start a gofundme campaign or uh, something uh, you guys everybody sent me 4.99 no um <laughs> i don't want to start that again yeah i always strive for more and want more and uh, some you know i think sometimes kim doesn't quite agree with that she says sometimes you just be content with what you have and I am content I'm not content I am thankful for what I have but uh, always want more so uh, whether it be material things or or health or just peace or uh, for my kids to be happy and all that you always want more no matter how good it is it's always I think it's a good thing to keep moving forward I think when you give up on more and you're just happy where you are uh, that's when you start to die and I know we're all dying every day we're, we're all going to get there eventually but um, when you quit wanting to learn new things or you quit wanting to uh, get better things or learn more or uh, be happier or get in better shape and all that, that's when you uh, start to die. I think uh, your mind and your body will both quit on you if you if you quit using them. So uh, it's kind of an important thing. I'm going to get all philosophical on you guys now here. So Professor Joe dropping some facts on you. We're almost back to town. This long straightaway is kind of tempting, except that uh, it's a really bad road, and uh, yeah, mostly that it's a really bad road. And there's people over here and people over there, and you know, you don't want to get, uh, they'll call the police on you if they see you do something crazy out here, because they don't have a lot of life going. A lot of people are kind of bored around here, so by the time you get back to town, there'll be a cop waiting for you to say, yeah, we just got a call that someone said you were, uh, Having a little too much fun through there, so. Everyone around here kind of waves at each other as they go by. You do the one finger wave, not not that one finger wave, but this one finger wave. Um, yeah, big hole. Uh, it's a friendly little area, and most people are pretty cool. But like most small towns, there's a lot of gossip, and uh, you know everybody thinks they know everything about you when they really don't know anything. But uh, I know this video isn't like about really anything, it's kind of rambling and wandering, but I just want to take you guys for a ride. Like I said, I had some uh, people ask for a POV ride, which I did like about a year ago, I think it was or so, I did one of these. I think we might have done the same road back then too, but because this is like the best road to do it on. There's a there's a lake down the way here and a uh, with a nice windy little road going through the lake and all that stuff going around the lake, but you're supposed to have a permit to be in there. And I think I could just drive around there without the permit as long as they don't stop and like use the lake or anything or camp or picnic. I, I think it's okay just to drive through there, but I'm not 100% positive and uh, I have gone through there before uh, real quick and stuff, but uh, you know, I don't want to push my luck too much. So here we come back into town, the beautiful town of Superior, Nebraska. We just crossed the state line. There's no state line sign down there. So uh, down there by where the river is we just passed is where the state line is. So. Coming, rolling back into town. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. 
I sure enjoy having you guys watch, and I sure enjoy all the support that I've gotten. And uh, can't say enough about that and how much I appreciate that. And uh, I really feel like my channel's uh, starting to take off, at least from my perspective. I know it's not taken off in a huge way like some people's, but uh, I'm very happy with the growth I've had over the last couple months. So, um, again, still want more, though. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's hit these train tracks here. We're going to bounce all over the place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Woo. It's a bad one. Probably should have slowed down just a little bit more for that one. Anyway, guys, we are back. Uh, I know that wasn't the... Uh, nothing controversial there and nothing uh, too newsworthy, but just uh, kicking around a few things. And hope you enjoyed the video. There goes my radar detector because there's a store over here setting it off. The doors, I think. This is Joey66. Stay tuned. I'm going to put up some of the pictures and stuff that I took yesterday in case you missed yesterday's video. Uh, and a few of them I think I didn't put up in yesterday's video. So, I'll show you a few of the photos and we'll have a little music going here and it'll be the usual little ending thing. The way I like to end my videos, as you guys know if you've watched me for very long. So, take care guys. Joey66. Thanks for going along for the ride. I really appreciate it.